Treasury International Capital Survey, otherwise called TIX. Now, TIX is a measure of foreign investment back into the U.S. economy. Okay? Now, the TIX measures the amount of U.S. Treasury debt, bonds, bills, and notes sold to foreign investors. Okay, not, not U.S. investors, foreign investors. Okay, the tax measures the amount of these sold to foreign investors. So, if more foreign investors are buying U.S. debt, that means more money is entering the U.S. economy. Because, for example, let's say you are a Japanese investor. Now, if you are a Japanese investor wishing to buy U.S. bonds, you will first need to buy U.S. dollars. Okay, so you will need to use your yen to buy U.S. dollars and then use those U.S. dollars to buy U.S. bonds. And in buying U.S. dollar, you are increasing the value of the U.S. dollar because you're increasing the demand for the U.S. dollar. So if each month ticks covers the monthly trade deficit, we have a balance. Remember, the U.S. operates at a trade deficit of approximately negative $44 billion, okay? So the U.S. operates at a trade deficit. Now, if each month ticks, which measures the amount of U.S. debt sold to foreign investors, if each month ticks covers the monthly trade deficit, then we have a balance, and this is positive for the U.S. dollar. And if ticks exceeds the monthly trade deficit, this is even more positive for the U.S. dollar. Also, if ticks fails to cover the monthly trade deficit, this is bearish for the U.S. dollar. So remember, TIX measures the amount of U.S. debt sold to foreign investors. So TIX gives us an idea of how much foreign money is entering the U.S. economy. Okay, so that is it for Treasury International Capital Survey, also called TIX.